Hello everyone, today I'll introduce the operations of setting up roller rotary in Lightburn software. Things to know before operation. 1. Ensure the device is connected to the computer using a Type-C cable and the corresponding serial port COM3 or other has been selected on the software. Generally, avoid selecting COM0 and COM1. If the COM port doesn't appear, please confirm these steps. 1. Driver not installed, install CH340 driver. Confirm if Type-Seq is an original data cable. 2. Depending on the mode used, modify the parameters of the A-axis stepper motor. For example, in roller mode, $103 equals 35.555, and in chuck mode, $103 equals 133.333. 3. Depending on the processing height, you can choose different riser. One is 45 millimeters, two would be 90 millimeters. Adjust the machine's height accordingly to facilitate laser engraving. Let's start with the roller mode. Firstly, open the Lightburn software. Locate the console interface on the right side. Input $103 equals 35.555 into the input box and press enter. Navigate to the tool options. Click on laser tools. Find rotary setup. Click on roller and enable rotary under rotary type. Set the roller diameter. Note that the device's roller diameter is 17 millimeters. Next, measure the object's diameter and input it into object diameter. The circumference will be calculated automatically. Click OK. Ensure start from on the right hand side is set to current position. Next, one, import the processing file. Two, adjust parameters to confirm if the pattern size in the software is appropriate. Three, Adjust parameters, modify corresponding cutting and filling parameters. Confirm the laser focus. 1. Manual focusing, move the laser module above the object, align the red dot with the highest point on the object's surface. Then slowly move the z-axis down to 4 millimeters away from the object's surface. Click the border. Observe if the laser range is accurate. 2. Click Start. Next, let's talk about the chuck mode. Similarly, find the console at the bottom and input $103 equals 133.333 in the type commands here box. Press Enter. Then, 1. Go to the tool options, click on laser tools, find rotary setup. Under rotary type, click on chuck and enable rotary. Measure the object's diameter and input it into object diameter. The circumference will be automatically calculated. Click OK. 2. Ensure start from on the right hand side is set to current position. 3. Add the design pattern. Adjust the pattern's width and height data. Ensure the pattern's width is smaller than the object's circumference and the pattern's height does not exceed the object's height. Adjust corresponding cutting and filling parameters. Finally, manual focusing. 1. Move the laser module above the object. Align the red dot with the highest point on the object's surface. Then slowly move the z-axis down to 4 millimeters away from the object's surface. Click the border. Observe if the laser range is accurate. 2. Click start. Today's video ends here. See you next time.